is up my bats and bots and today we're looking at the 3d ride megatron from studio series and this one was interesting i got this during the summer and i just saw it on the shelf even though it's like a two-year-old figure so i thought why not do a throwback review on it so before we look at megs i do not have the original box but i do have the stand which is pretty cool yeah, so I have never been to Universal, so this is probably like the only time I'll ever see this. Yeah, Studio Series 48, Transformers, Autobot symbol, Transformers, the 3D ride. And yeah, you can just plop Megatron right there. I've seen videos, and you can just, if you want to get like tiny people, you can do like the picture with them. So I think that's kind of cool. Well, that, that was the packaging, I guess I can say. And looking at Megatron, this is the only Studio Series Megatron I own. So I think it's kind of nice that I own a Megatron. And I've been wanting to get the other Megatrons. I've been hunting really hard on eBay to find those. And eventually there'll be reviews. But yeah, I, I like this. This is one of the... One of the best Studio Series figures out there. One of. One of. And it's kind of exclusive, so it's kind of a good thing to have it. And get on the details. Nice head sculpt, by the way. Got the torn face from when he fought Prime. All molded detail. The hands are rubber, by the way, but it's like a rough rubber. Yeah. Oh, going up the back. Nothing much. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, but due to the shape of his head, you don't get much movement. The arms could do a full 360. They can move up in and out. You get a butterfly joint if that serves any purpose. You get a double jointed elbow. So that's pretty cool. In this hand, you can these are individuals, so you can have them open and close. This hand just moves up and down. The legs go forward that far. Back, not too far out they, they can't even go out that's and then once you want to try get them out start on clipping himself and you get kind of like a double jointed knee almost rotation there at the knee rotation here at the ankle and you got somewhat ankle tiltage i i don't know what what that is but and does he come with any accessories yes he does Comes with this nice fusion cannon. I I personally love this gun. You can store it. There's a post or hole or whatever that'll go into this post right here. And you can just pick that in. And there you go. You got the Decepticon leader all armed up. And if you want to, you can hold it in this hand. So you can pew pew bang bang pew pew. But he can't hold it in this hand sadly. So you can't recreate the scene. Oh well. Uh, sorry I'm going silent. But now we go into comparisons. I need to raise the camera for this. Here he is next to his good buddy. The Fallen. If he would stand. You can see there's a major height difference there. Here he is next to Skipjack. And all of the Decepticons you're going to see are all the ones that I have, so yeah. Here he is next to his other good friend, Soundwave. And yeah, I feel like Soundwave should have been a Voyager or something. 
because that does not work out. And here he is next to Sideways, the latest Decepticon of Studio Series. He stayed? Yeah, he stayed! Yeah. Not much going on. And now the comparison's over. Let's go on the transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing you want to do is take off the gun. Next you want to take off this. They're on hooks right here. So you just unhook all those. And we set that off to the side for now. And now what you want to do is open up his chest. Flip these down. Flip his head in. So he... There we go. I don't know if I broke anything or what, but yeah, it's in there. Now you just want to leave this right here. Now you want to come to the legs. Helps if you splay the arms out. Now you want to straighten out his leg. They're on nice ratchets. Now you want to rotate the leg. Bring out the cab section. Flip it. Move this, move his foot up, move this over to the side, flip this panel over, now just tab in right here, there should be a tab that goes in somewhere else, yeah right here, and I'll just tab in, tab in, and you want to flip this down, rotate that, Second verse, just like the first, and I'll go through this fairly quickly. It usually doesn't matter how you transform them, because it's... I usually don't go by the instructions sometimes. Now you want to tab this in, so you're working with one two, three, four, four tabs. All right, this is, this is kind of hard to do with the space I have. Next you want to take the back section. Now I'll just flip on over in there. And now, oh, you gotta flip these out too. And now here comes the kind of hard part. Now you wanna open these panels, flip those up, but you don't wanna push them in. Now you wanna open the wheels up. Same thing on the other side. Open this up, keep that up. Open this up, keep that up. Now you want to keep this down. You want to just collapse the arms in. I need more room. Hold on. There we go. All right. Now you just want to collapse the arms in. Now I'll just tab in right. Oh. I don't want it on, on camera breaking, everyone, but... Alright, you want to next make sure the arms stay underneath this chest region. So, you want to move the arms in. So, that the truck mode will... All right, this is kind of hard. <laughs> there we go. Ah, everything's undoing itself. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. All right, now we got to do the other arm. All right. Now you want to have the chest down here, and there will be a tab 
that'll go into a slot right here. Then there's going to be a tab that's going to go in this slot right here. If it decides to work, and it didn't. Wait, hold on. We're going with a double hinge on the chest. I forgot about that. Now you want to do the same thing with the other side. And these sides always like to fight me. You want to why? This camera's on. It's the camera's on. And next you want to take the little chain section that we had before. And it's going to hook in almost the same way. Almost. And this is usually the hard part sometimes because most times you got to get on just right. And I did not put it on right. You got to have this part back here. And slide all those in. No, oh, there we go. I don't think I did it right again. Hold on, I'm gonna be right back. In the back. At least I, th I think I did it right. I don't know. And yeah, he's a nice Mad Max looking truck. Looking at the details, this is all rubber by the way. So you don't have to worry about breaking that. That's rubber too. And yeah, there's the top, there's the bottom. It does roll, but he kind of slides because his chest is like right there and those of you who complain about hollow bits i don't really care for that but when it's as bad as like this and like that i do kind of care but when it's like a gap filler thing i really don't care at all it's the design of it i don't care and for storage for the gun there's a little slot right here that's gonna tab in right there and this kind of holds the front of the truck together so you just want to tab that in there we go I didn't have that tabbed in right and there you go it doesn't affect the rolling and even though it's like a... <laughs> yeah and just so just so you know i will not be doing comparisons in car mode for studio series because that will break my mind just doing that so yeah and yeah so here are my thoughts on the figure and ironically while i was transforming this i broke one of the hooks awesome yeah, so here are my thoughts on the figure. I like it for it being my first 2 Series Megatron. Of course I love it. And, of course, when I said it's an exclusive and I broke it, yeah. At least it was a tiny breakage. Not too severe. Not At least not like an arm popping off or something like that. I'm glad it was just the hook and nothing else. But, yeah, he, he poses well with my other Decepticons. But Soundwave and Sideways, though, they do not pair up well with him and the Fallen being huge he does not go with him it it just doesn't work and I want to get the Revenge of the Fallen the first movie the actual Dark Moon version of this Megatron and have them compared together and I'm trying to go on eBay and find them I need a Starscream still I need I, I kind of held off on Studio Series a while back and I want to get most of them I don't even have an Optimus yet so I need to get that and yeah that those will come soon whenever I get them. And yeah, I, I like it. So if you wanted to pick this up, I'm pretty sure they still have a Universal. I never got a Universal. I saw it at GameStop. 
I saw it every day, every time I went to GameStop, and I'm like, hey, why don't I just pick it up? Because I thought it was pretty cool and I need a Megatron. So with that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified about future live streams, videos, lives, I mean shorts, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this is Dark Nimes Prime saying, see ya.